Welcome to Scape Sessions. This will be episode two of our Shanghai Market series. We're at Laoshimen Fish Market, kind of an old historical market in Shanghai, uh, centrally located, really beautiful spot. This neighborhood is in transition right now. They are actually kind of tearing down parts of the neighborhood, so don't know exactly how long this market will still be around, but for the time being, it's still one of my favorite places to go in Shanghai. You can see they sell a variety of things from fish. They even have a new store that sells uh, saltwater goods, but lots of different fish, shrimps. You'll even see birds, plants, and uh, crickets for fighting crickets for sale in here as well. This guy right here, this is my shrimp dude. Solid guy, always getting the shrimps right. You see, uh, he's got a guy right here is uh, lining up some of his nice cherry shrimp for. Yeah, he's pumped. He's getting nice shrimp. He loves it. This guy. I see him in the markets all the time. He's he's a staple of the community. Uh, yeah, the blood parrots are a big uh, big seller in the in the aquariums here in China. They're I think supposed to be lucky fish because of the red coloration. Uh, you can see they have a lot of different types of fish, uh, from tetras to uh, you even see some blue. Was that the uh, blue German blue rams? Uh, here you can see the crickets, the fighting crickets. This cat is amazing. Stares right at the camera like an absolute gentleman. Protecting the birds. Those birds are for sale, as is everything in this market. Painted turtles. Uh, they are support turtles, but uh, sometimes uh, frowned upon by the Western community. But in China, they are more than accepted. This this shop here is uh, one of our favorite places to shop. Beautiful plants, great fish, some great cardinal tetras, among other tetras. I just bought some really nice kochu blue tetras that you'll see in this video. Don't see them every day in the markets here, but I uh, got pretty lucky to have them in. Should be getting a shot of him, of these fish here real soon. But yeah, as I said before, you can see that they sell a lot of different plants. You see the crickets for sale up there as well. This market has got just about everything and as far as like the kind of strange niche uh, hobbies. This tank, I have bought so many plants from this tank, all sorts of different varieties. Uh, you can see here some Buca Philandra, Wavy Green, uh, those Kochu Blue Tetras I was mentioning before, and some Pseudomobiles also. Lots of different nano fish she sells here. You can see there is a um, Dario Dario there in the in the background. Here you see some mascara barbs, also some torpedo barbs. So just just about everything you could want as far as uh, varieties of fish available here. Some really nice uh, what are those uh, Congo tetras? Yeah and. Even some small archer fish in this tank, which are really cool fish. I would love to get a tank with those in them, but you got to have a pretty sizable tank to house those fish. These white goldfish, I don't know exactly know what species they are, but you see them all over the markets here. They're pretty cool. I think they look great in like just a single species tank with maybe a black background and nothing at all in it. Something else that you see in the markets constantly here, a little bit of gambling, just uh, people hanging out. Uh, these people all work in the market. I know a couple of them. The uh, One of them runs this shop and uh, yeah, there's you, all sorts of different things you'll see here. But you can see they have all sorts of different products for sale. There on the left, you see all the different tools uh, from pincettes to glass scrapers, all sorts of different things.
yeah, weird millworms. I think those are bird food. Um, goldfish and different smaller versions of koi you'll find in this market. Nothing too big. But yeah, the crickets that you see in here are always so weird. They look like aliens. I, I don't know what they're feeding them, but they are massive and look like they're on steroids or something. You can find some pretty decent discus in here. I've actually bought a couple discus in here before. You'll be surprised at how cheap they are, just like with everything else in this market. These discus probably range from about maybe around $10 USD. Uh, I've bought in for even cheaper than that before. Uh, lots of different flower horns, uh, flower horns ranging probably around 45 USD, maybe even a little cheaper depending on how big they are and how nice they are, but all like in that $50 range for a nice one. This is another one of my favorite shops. Uh, this lady and uh, her husband that run this shop, super nice people. They always have really nice fish. Uh, they carry a lot of the more rare plecos. I actually bought my L134 from them and now that I've done that every time I'm walking by, they want to show me whatever plecos they have. And they also carry uh, a lot of other nice fish. Some, you'll see that they carry some Asian arowanas. And even out here, you, they still have to give you the certificate showing where the Asian arowana, what, where it was bred. You can see here a really large Asian arowana and a tank with some, uh, some other like blood parrots. But yeah, this one's a really nice one, uh, like maybe about 18 inches. Here's another one of their smaller ones. This arowana probably here costs maybe around a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, maybe around $200 USD, not too much at all. That's going to do it for this episode of Scape Sessions.